Hi guys, welcome to another session of Google Ads. Today we're going to look at how to create a lead search campaign with lead form extensions. In order to create a campaign guys, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the campaigns tab on the left panel. From here, we will be able to create a new campaign in this account. So with the help of this plus button, I can create a new campaign. So today I'm going to look at leads as the goal for this campaign and we are going to create a search campaign so i'm choosing the campaign type as search and here we are going to select lead form submissions as the way to reach our goal you can click on continue and now we are coming to the campaign settings page where we can fill up all the details regarding this campaign so you can start giving the details over here we are going to target only the search network for now so i'm going to unselect the display network option you also get some more option settings over here like we can give the start date and end date of this campaign so i will do that you can pick any end date for this you also get an option to set up your campaign url options wherein you can put a tracking template for your ads you also get an option to do dynamic search. If you want to run dynamic search ads, you can do it from here. You also get an, uh, con this setting to do ad scheduling, which basically is an option wherein you can schedule your ads to run on particular days of the week in this particular manner. You can select the days and time when you think you get the highest amount of traffic and you can select it and schedule your ads. Then we are coming to the targetings and audiences section where we can give our location targeting. You can select any country if you want to target. You can also select a state. You can also select a particular city. If you want to do radius targeting, you can do that from the advanced search. You can go to advanced search and you can select your radius and give the local area. And you can hit on save. If you don't want to show your ads on particular areas, you can just target them as well. And you can say exclude it also gives you to do some kind of location options as well which is basically targeting people in your targeted locations or people who show interest in so all those targetings you can do from this section next what we have is the audio uh, the language targeting where you can select the language of the customers what they speak from this list and then you can also do audience targeting, which is specifically selecting audiences through affinity, okay, and remarketing and other things which you have here. Once this is done, we are moving into budget and bidding. Uh, you can give the budget for the campaign, the amount of money you are willing to spend on this campaign on a per day basis. Then you can give the bidding strategy. You can set a bidding strategy for this campaign. Since we are looking at a leads generating campaign, which we want to create, we can select a specific bidding strategy for that. So in order to do so, you can click on or select a bid strategy directly. And the most appropriate bidding strategy for this would be maximize clicks because we want to get as many clicks as possible, which will convert into leads for us. You can also have an option to set a maximum cost per bid limit over here, which basically means that you're putting a cap on the CPC bid so that the system does not go beyond a certain amount in the pursuit of getting higher number of clicks. So you can give the upper limit over here. Once bidding has been set, uh, you get few more options like you can set up a campaign level conversion action from here if you want. 
You can also do add rotation, which is basically a case wherein you can, the system will try to show high performing ads more often than the other ads. After this, we are coming into add extensions in which we are going to look at lead form extensions. Lead form extensions are basically an extension which shows under the ad, which gives an option for users to click on it and provide the information and fill up a lead. Okay, so it's a very simple extension which has higher probability of generating leads. So we can build that from here. So as you can see, it says new lead form extensions. We can click on this. And now here we're going to design the whole lead form for our customers. So the first thing is you can select a call to action, how you want people to uh, call, come and perform and fill up the lead. So you can give a call to action. Let's say it's book now and you can give a extension text. Here we're going to start creating the lead form. So the first thing they're asking us to give a headline. Okay, so we can give that. You can give a name of the business. And then you can give a description of it as well. In this manner. Once a description has been given, we are moving to the contact information, the questions which we want to ask our customers to give answers for. So you can pick those from here in a simple manner. You can also provide the, you will have to go ahead and provide the privacy policy URL over here of your website, of your business. So you can go to your website and find out your privacy policy URL. So I am picking the privacy policy URL of my website. And I'm going to put it out here. I can also attach an image for this lead form for my customers. So I'll pick some predefined recently used ones from the system and we'll attach it to the form. Here you will get multiple options to select from. Once this is done, next we are coming to the uh, form submission page. So where you can provide the details, how it should look like. You can give a headline, you got a description as well. And then you can give a call to action thing which you want them to do. You want them to visit your website. You want them to download something. You can mention that over here and give the URL for it. So the URL can be your website's URL, which you can put in this manner. Once this is done, uh, you can also see the, uh, the delivery option. So ideally what will happen is all the leads will get uh, downloaded in the extensions table and you can access it from there. If you want to attach a CRM, an external CRM, you can do that as well through webhook. Once this is done, you can go ahead and save this extension. So now your extension has been created and we can go ahead and save this and move to the next level wherein we are going to create a new ad group for it. So you can name the ad group as per your requirement. Uh, you can also provide your website URL over here to get some new keyword ideas based on the content. So system will look at your website and give certain suggestions from here. So you can easily add some keywords from here. And then we can save this and go to the next level where we are going to create the ad for it. Now, as you can see, we are reaching the ad creation page where we are going to create a new text ad on the left panel 
we will be able to see how the ad will look like on the right hand side. So the first thing is required over here is we have to give a final URL. A final URL is going to be the page which people open once they click on our ads, right? So we'll go back to our website and we'll pick a final URL from here. Let's say this is the final URL. I'm going to take this URL, go back to my website, to my ad creation and put it out there. And now I will start writing my ad in this manner. So you have to go ahead and fill up all the details size, all the headlines because that is required and only then people, there are higher chances of people clicking on our ads. So like this, make sure that you are uh, from using the complete space provided. You can also give a path, a subdomain with your display URL, okay, so which will give proactive information to people about what kind of an ad or which page they will be taken to. In my case, since I've taken industrial supplies, so I will say industrial over here and I can say supplies, so which basically gives them an idea that uh, possibly when they click on this, they will be taken to the industrial supplies page. Here in the description, we are going to fill up more details, more information regarding our business. So like this, any kind of promotions, offers, discounts you might be giving, provide that over here. This makes the ad much more appealing and it increases the probability of people clicking on our ads. Once the ad has been created, this is how the ad is going to look like on a mobile device. And if you click on this on the right side arrow, you will see how the ad will come on a desktop. You also have an option to add any tracking templates to this ad through your ad URL options from here. Once the ad has been created, you can click on done. And now you can save this. Once the ad is created, you can go ahead and publish this. So the campaign has been created and now you can see this is our leads campaign, leads search November 8. Okay, I have created one ad group inside this, which is this one. If I click on the ad group, I will be able to see the keywords which we added in this campaign. If you want to check the ad which we built today, you can find it under ads and extensions on the left panel. Here is the ad which we have created, uh, which has gone under review. As you can see, it will, they will check this ad. They will take one business day to check your ads. And once it is approved, the campaign can go live. We can also check the lead form extension, which we created today which is out here. All right. So it, like this guys, very simply, you can create a leads objective search campaign with a lead form extension, which can be used for any kind of B2B or a B2C company, which requires to generate leads. I hope this information was useful and uh, you liked this video. If you liked it, then please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button. Thank you so much guys.